should you confront the narcissist. You may feel like you want to confront the narcissist. You may feel like you want to tell them that you know what they've been doing. You want to tell them about their issues or problems. You may feel like you want to tell them how you feel. You might have caught them lying, or you might have found evidence of them doing something. And now you are wanted to take this to the narcissist to prove your case. You may be wanting to do this. You may be wanting to confront the narcissist. But you will only be wasting your time. You can catch them in their lies. You can collect all of the evidence about them and then take it to them. But it's not going to make a difference with these kinds of people. Due to the psychological state of their cognitive processes, the condition or character of their thoughts or feelings, they are detached from reality. They live in an alternate reality. And no amount of confrontation or evidence is going to bring them back into the real world where they are forced to accept what they have done. They're just going to deny what they did. They're going to refuse to admit the truth. Although they are fully aware of what they have done. They cannot deal with the truth or reality of the situation. They cannot deal with the feelings that come along with being exposed. It would affect their sense of self-esteem and self-importance. It would make them feel even more inferior to you. They cannot accept what they have done. They cannot acknowledge their issues or problems. Instead, they will play the victim role and act as though they have been harmed by you. They know exactly what they've done wrong. They know what their issues or problems are. They just don't want to admit it. They don't want to be exposed. Because then that would cause them to feel vulnerable or at risk. So they deny it. They refuse to admit the truth. And they gaslight you. They manipulate you by psychological means into questioning your own memory, perception or sanity. Whatever happens, they will continue to lie. And they will try to make it seem as though you're crazy for doubting them. As though you have the issue or problem. It is a psychological attack where they set you up to lose. Just so they can watch it play out. Just so they can watch you going through it. When really, there is nothing that you can say or do in that situation. Because they're just going to deny it. They will attempt to define who you are, what you're doing, what you're feeling, and what you're thinking, without even asking you any questions. It is intended to cause self-doubt, and they know exactly what they're doing. They know the effects 
that this behavior is having on you. Their behavior is intended to cause a lack of confidence in yourself and your abilities. This is what is going to happen if you try to confront the narcissist. Nothing is going to get resolved. They're not suddenly going to acknowledge everything that they've done wrong. That would mean that things are going to change. And they don't want things to change. The reason why they never acknowledge their behavior is because they're comfortable with the dysfunctionality. They like it that way, which is why they never took any steps to change it. So don't waste your time confronting the narcissist. It won't help the situation. It won't resolve anything. They have to defend the false image that they are trying to portray to you and other people even though it isn't real or genuine. It gives them what they need to survive emotionally. So when you confront them, it literally feels like it's life threatening to them. Like you're trying to end the life of their false self. So in that moment, they are going to do whatever it takes to survive. Even though they know they're lying. Even when the truth would be more favorable for them. They will still continue to lie. Because they have to defend their false image. They have to defend their false self. That is the only thing that makes them feel alive. The only thing that makes them feel like they are worth anything. Without that, they would feel completely worthless and insignificant. They would feel as though they don't even exist. So they are going to do whatever it takes to defend it. Sometimes when you confront them, it may even cause a narcissistic injury where it feels like you are attacking their false self. It feels like you are attacking their self-esteem and self-importance just by not validating their lies and their false reality. This then produces the narcissistic rage the violent, uncontrollable anger where they will become verbally abusive. They will say some of the most hurtful things that you could ever imagine. They will say or do whatever they believe will hurt you the most. Because they just want you to feel their pain. Their pain of having to reflect on the fact that the false self doesn't exist and that their entire lives have been a lie. In some cases, they may even physically attack you. So confronting them could definitely put you in a dangerous position. Which is why I do not recommend confronting the narcissist. Take the information or evidence that you have learned or found and record it in written, photographic or another form. It may be useful to you in the future. It may remind you of the reasons why you are not involved with them anymore. It may remind you of the reasons why you should not be involved with them ever again. And it may also help you to avoid these types of people in the future. If 
you want to expose the narcissist, you should not do it by bringing the information or evidence directly to them. It is not going to help the situation. It will not resolve the situation. They're just going to deny it. They're just going to act like they don't know what you're talking about. And then they're going to find a way to shift the blame onto you. To take the focus off what they're doing. It's just going to cause you more distress and annoyance due to not progressing or succeeding. But that is the purpose of their behaviour. They are deliberately preventing your progress or success because they don't want you to expose them. They don't want to accept that they are at fault and then having to deal with the consequences of losing. They would rather deal with something that is doomed. They would rather deal with something that is a lost cause an ongoing disaster than to accept and deal with the fact that they have lost. It's too painful for them to deal with. Which is why they will do whatever it takes to avoid having to deal with it. Which is why they will do whatever it takes to defend their false image. If you break through their false image, it destroys their false sense of self-esteem and self-importance and reveals a very weak, vulnerable interior, which is who they really are. And that's why they fight so hard to protect it. That's why they literally fight with their lives. Because they're trying to protect a very weak, true part of them that they don't want anyone to see when you confront them you are damaging their weak fragile ego and there is no way to tell how they might react don't confront the narcissist don't reveal any information or evidence to them. Don't let them know what you know about them. It might give you the upper hand in the situation. It should make it easier for you to deal with them. Confronting them will not help the situation. It will not resolve anything. And they're only going to deny it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries you can email me at noxwebercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.